Hi, it's Darcy Nairos from Nairos and Associates, and it's June 1st, 2020, and we're going to do a recap of May's real estate market stats, but we wanted to do it in the same spot that we did it last year for May's 2019 market recap, and we're at Nature's Gate. Last year, we were standing in front of the first building, Foundation, and as you can see behind me, that building has all moved in. The second building is near completion, and we've just released the third building, and we've sold nine out of the 12 homes already. It's been unbelievable. We have two more buildings coming in the near future, so if you're looking to get more information on Nature's Gate, please call us at 250-258-9888. Now let's get on to May's market stats. During the COVID, everyone's wondering, they hear these CMHC market research, these stats, these just banter out there about what's going on in the market. Well, it's going to be different from Vancouver to Toronto and we're different from everywhere else as well. We're getting more calls lately from, let's call it the bigger city, saying, you know what, I can sell my place, I can get a little piece of land, let's just say a single family home, get a little more space, we have more outdoor opportunities. We just had a call from uh, North Van, they're looking to purchase here. We had another call from Vancouver that just purchased here. So we are seeing some people from out of town making this their new home. However, we've got lots of locals that are making a purchase as well. So let's go into what happened in May. I'm gonna go back to saying it is COVID. So we did see a decrease in sales over last year and we're about a 44% decrease in sales over last year. Now that doesn't mean that prices are gonna follow because listings also decreased 15% over last year. The year, the month before also was decreased by 15%. So the listings are actually a little bit lower than where we should be year over year. We're starting to kind of see the listings come out now because the spring market has just been delayed. So average sold price for single family home is just over $754,000. The average single, uh, sorry, the townhome sale is just over 480,000. And the average condo that sold in May is just over $321,000. We had just under 300 homes sell in May. Now the price trend, we are seeing an increase in single family homes, almost 2% price increase. Again, it's been two months of COVID and we see a 2% increase in single family home prices. We did see a dip in townhomes and condos, just shy of 4% decrease for townhome pricing and a 4% decrease in condo pricing. What does that say? It says we're coming into summer. More people can get out here. Rules, regulations for COVID has relaxed a bit. So we're gonna see a big change in June. So I'm looking forward to in June, talking to you about the stats, hopefully in another community where we can show you success as well. But we also like to tell you kind of the highest and lowest sales for each product. So for condos, we did see 54 condos sell in May. The highest price condo was $952,281. That was big white. Lowest sale for a condo, $133,900. That was on the west side. Now for townhomes, we saw 54 townhomes sell in May and the average price, uh, Sorry, the average price was 480,000, but the highest price condo in Lower Mission sold for $860,000. And the most affordable in West Bank was 171,500. Now we move on to single family homes, and the highest sale price in May was $2.4 million out in Lake Country, and the most affordable was out in Rutland for 262,500. So if you're looking for more information on what's going on in the Kelowna real estate market, please call us at 250-258-9888 or you can reach us at kelownarealestatepros.com.